Happy Friday. Thanks for joining us for this Facebook Live. Lisa Lydia Scott here. Mm -hmm. uh, super happy for the weekend. Yes. Uh, of course, we have fog to talk about once yeah. again uh, and much warmer temperatures. But as we get started here, I want to remind you, of course, we're live every weekday morning. We're a little happier on Fridays than we are on Mondays. <laughs> so is everybody. A little more happy <laughs> right now. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, this will stay on your feed throughout the day on your Facebook feed. We make it into a podcast when we're done. If that's how you like to listen, just mm -hmm. find it at inform.com slash podcast. Look for the Inform Minute or anywhere you find your podcast. We're on on all of the social media platforms in addition to Facebook uh, you can find us there as well mm -hmm. our inform YouTube channel oh, all yeah. those good things but of course the easiest just wake up with us every weekday morning we're on the air from 5 to 7 every That's weekday right. morning we have a weekend crew uh, on air as well yeah of course weekend morning yeah. so first news goes well with a cup of coffee absolutely you know? <laughs> all right this morning I'm once again missing the sunshine we're just stuck in that dreary yes, foggy mix it's, gray it's out there. just murky and damp and slippery too. Mm -hmm. Temperatures are below freezing, sitting in the upper 20s for a lot of us with all that moisture in the air. So we do have a lot of slick spots. Your bridges, intersections, on and off ramps. My roundabout gets mm -hmm. really slippery. So all things to watch out for. If you found a slick spot yesterday morning, very likely that that same spot is slippery this morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, fog will continue through probably the first half of the day. I expect it to thin out this afternoon. Maybe not go entirely away, but it should really start to thin out, kind of disperse as the wind picks up out of the southwest at 5 to 15. Uh, temps this afternoon, mid to upper 30s, about 34. Meh, lower to mid 30s, about 34 okay. in Fargo today. So hopefully enough to melt away at least some of those slick spots. So sure. improvement in the forecast today, but not mm -hmm. totally perfect. Um, with the wind going light tonight into tomorrow, I do want to watch out for pockets of fog to redevelop late tonight, early tomorrow. If you have early Saturday morning travel plans, you might run into some of that. Okay. I'm not looking at it being as widespread as what we've had yesterday and this morning, but it'll be out there still. It's just so stubborn. It's hard to get rid of. Um, tomorrow afternoon, hopefully a few peaks of sunshine, temperatures mid thirties, better on Sunday. A little bit of a breeze, mostly cloudy sky, temp flirting with 40. I did push back our 40s until Wednesday. I'm not canceling them. We're keeping them in the forecast, but we did kind of push it back. I think the sunshine holds off until about the middle of the week, and that's really going to be an ingredient to help boost the temp. So still lacking snowstorms. I have no big snows on your 10-day forecast, well above average temperatures near record highs next okay. week. So even though it's bleh, out right now we have some better almost spring-like weather to come next that's week good. i like that yeah. you really pointed out during first news this morning the winter weather advisory oh yeah you know yeah. because i was like oh, people are going to hear that if yes. they only hear that or only read that for sure yeah and nine times out of ten you're right mm -hmm. so yeah there is a winter weather advisory in effect valley city up toward grand forks up toward roseau kind of that diagonal line not including fargo technically uh there has been freezing drizzle there mm -hmm. this morning so that is creating very icy spots a lot of times though what lisa's alluding to is that when you hear winter weather advisory you think snow yeah. right and it totally makes sense yeah, so. yeah. yep <laughs> makes sense but this time not snow it's simply for ice yeah and she pointed that out you pointed out in first news and every time yeah. you said it, i'm like good point because <laughs> yeah. you hear it and, I, and well I'm and like, if you're oh. watching first news and you're making lunches for the day and you're brushing your teeth and yep. you're busy and you just hear winter weather advisory right. you're probably mm -hmm. thinking snow i don't blame you yeah, but no absolutely. not not this time no snow in the forecast the entire 10-day forecast uh it's just icy and slippery so there is an advisory out for that fargo's not in the winter weather advisory we do have a special weather statement which is basically a heads up it's hate it's slick out there but it's not an advisory okay. so okay. take it slow <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> make sure your headlights are on if you're driving through the fog all yeah. of those all of those good it's little one of those things. things are just kind of deceivingly slippery because it yep. kind of just looks wet but yep. then all of a sudden it's slippery yep. so all of a sudden you take a turn a little too quick and you're zoop, yep. sliding in the direction you didn't want to be sliding yep. in Absolutely. So, yeah <laughs> yeah sound effects necessary <laughs> thank okay you, thank you thanks lydia all right well this is a big story and we've kind of been i mean yes. team coverage is almost an understatement because we've had several reporters producers we mm. were both going through some of the documents our first news team as well uh we got the the new um, final very detailed report from the North Dakota BCI uh, on the investigation into the deadly July 14th shooting in Fargo. Mm -hmm. uh, a massive amount of information. We're going to tell you a little bit about it, but there's way more online, inform.com. Yeah. And I was reading through that. I know one of our WDAY reporters is also going through a whole mm -hmm separate section of this report as well that we're going to talk about yeah. tonight on WDAY. It's like dozens of pages, so it's, right. it's, a, it's 
a monster report. It, okay. it, it is. It's massive. Uh, but it includes new pictures, witness interviews, videos, uh, a very detailed timeline of what went on, not only that day, but like just even the days, the months, the years leading up to that shooting. Um, it tells us what witnesses had to say about Mohammed Barakat's activity leading up to the shooting. Uh, dozens of pages to go through, uh, like I mentioned. And what specifically our reporter is going to talk about tonight is that search history. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, they were able to go through what he had been looking on his, whether it was his yep. computer, tablet, phone, some of the things he had been searching. Very disturbing, very Absolutely. troubling. Yeah. Um, so we're still working to get through all of the information, but uh, you can read some of it online at inform.com right now. All right, today, U.S. Congressman Kelly Armstrong is holding a campaign event, officially kicking off his uh, run for uh, the governor of North Dakota. So he's looking to take over that office because, of course, uh, Governor Doug Burgum announced he'll not be running for a third term. That event is going to be taking place today at noon at Brujala here in Fargo for Congressman Kelly Armstrong. Uh, in case you didn't know, Armstrong has served as North Dakota's U.S. representative in Washington, D.C. for three terms. Uh, you might want to check your medicine cabinet today. Robitussin cough syrups, at least a few of them, are being recalled, mm -hmm. uh, being pulled off store shelves because of a microbial contamination. The recall involves two different versions, adult versions, Honey CF Max Day and Honey CF Max Nighttime. And we did check for you this morning. Those products uh, were sold at the Target here in Fargo. So the contaminated products have expiration dates of 2025 and 2026. Mm -hmm. um, you can find more on the FDA's website to, to double check. But so far, there have been no reports of adverse reactions to the products. But of course, you're going to want to check and make sure you don't have that in your home. Of course, you can watch Hot Mike with Tom Izzo today from 9 to 11 this morning. A monster game last night from Ellie Evans, who uh, had a big game for NDSU going 29 points. A full recap of uh, the Wild Night in the Summit League, plus UND it looks to end a three-year home victory drought against Denver. A preview of the weekend showdown out the Ralph. Hot Mike live from 9 to 11 on WDIY Extra and Inform.com. And remember, now is a great time to get that Inform.com subscription, 99 cents a month for your first three months. Uh, right now, a ton of coverage like oh, we've yes. been talking about on that BCI report on the shooter from the July 14th police ambush. Um, we've kind of linked all of the stories and videos and mm -hmm. then, you know, watch back throughout the day for updates from our from our staff from the forum and from our WDAY newsroom, adding constantly all online at inforum.com. Yeah, and then of course you can watch First News throughout the weekend. We'll be back Monday morning from 5 to 7 a.m. So love to have you join us then. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.